Okay, so now we have the faces. A unicorn has came all over my face basically <laughs> and I can't get that glitter off. So yeah. So <laughs> we are gonna try out some beauty products that we got from Poundland and Home Bargains. Yeah, so this is the Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation with UVA and UVB filters. Um, so we might look orange in this because I didn't actually colour match anything because in Poundland they don't have, well the Poundland that I was in they didn't have testers out. So I just had to gauge by the name of it. So the colour of this is Cool Porcelain 1 which I thought we could we could darken it up if we needed Yeah, it's better to, to go lighter and then you can darken it up yeah. with bronzer and stuff than so, to go too dark. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. It's not very liquidy looking, I like quite a liquid um, foundation, so let's give this a go and see how it... Oh yeah, it's quite thick. We'll see, I don't wear a lot of foundation, I don't like a lot of foundation. So initially it feels quite watery I would say, yeah. um, it's spreading easily but uh, it's not... It's not really feeling like it's sticking. It's not giving great coverage. No, but it's... Um... It's very, I think it must be quite water based. Um, because I'm not feeling like I'm getting amazing yeah, coverage with it. I feel more like a mummy. But I'm feeling like it's quite chalky. Yeah, I'm going to give up as well. on the brush and try the hands just to blend it. I don't feel like it's giving amazing coverage. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like it's covered, um, but... So I feel like you need a lot to get a little bit of coverage. Yeah, so in the in, initially I thought it felt quite watery. Now that it's spread out, it's, it's almost quite cakey. chalky. It, yeah. yeah, it's collecting in areas. So the next product is Pressed Powder in Honey Beige 3 for Makeup Gallery. Smoothly does it pressed powder. So we can give this a go. There, I didn't get anything to do any contouring or anything like that. So this is just like a top powder um, to give a go. It seems like a nice powder coming off. Well, so for me, so that's, Karen has used that. I don't know if you can see. So for me, there's a lot of fallout there, yeah. um, which I don't think is that great. So I'm going to try and mop some of that up to try and use it. But I like, I like that because I like cooking. My makeup, baking, are you baking my cooking? I like cooking my makeup. I'm cooking. I like. It actually, smells quite nice. It as does well. smell nice. It's talc. There's talc in it. Oh, right, you're getting it all <laughs> over me. There's really that's a lot of fallout. That's a lot of fallout. Hmm. But I do feel like you wouldn't feel shiny. So I feel like that set the foundation yeah. actually okay. Uh huh. It, it, it does actually finish the foundation off quite nicely. Yeah. That. Um, so as you can see, without my makeup on, I pretty much have no eyebrows. So eyebrows is something that's quite big so for me. I've been using this. This is Olivia Hale, um, and that is from Home Bargains. Okay, so let's give this a go then. I'm gonna use my glossy box brush that I use every day for my eyebrows. So anybody that follows the Instagram knows that I am a farm follower of Benefit eyebrow products. I swear by their products um, and use three different products on my eyebrows every day. So let's see how I'm this... like a, a use a brown eyeshadow on my so let's see how this bears up for what I usually do with my eyebrows. I think it gives quite good already. Yeah, it there. gives a really nice outline and shape and light shape shape the eyebrows. And it's a darker colour than the powder that goes on top as well. Um, so I feel like it lets you do a better outline. Yeah, it's going on nice. Um, Oh, yeah, so that's quite easy to get the shape that you want with it. I'm actually impressed with this because I did not think it was going to be any good. Oh, yeah, I'm quite pleased. I'm so they're they totally don't match, right? I'm, I'm not no, they're, so, they're only supposed to be sisters. Your eyebrows aren't supposed to be twins, they're sisters. No, they usually look a lot better than that, but 
In terms of actual how it's went on, I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. It was quite so that easy. Was, that was 99 pence for that kit. So yeah, I think I would, I would, I would, that is, that's, I would say that's, that's worth it. Yes. But yeah, I'm not totally against that. I'm gonna go for an eyeshadow. Yes. So I actually got two eyeshadows because I felt like we wanted to do a full eyeshadow story. Yeah. There's a duo set um, in these two shades, which is like, you can't really see it, but it's almost like a bluey grey and then yeah. like a light brown. Yeah. And then there's this colour shades which is like a again a goldy brown and then frosty one like a kind of a highlighter so we can give these a go these were from poundland and they were a pound each yeah okay so i'm gonna start with the grey blue color here so i'm gonna give that a go just to do a bit of a crease in my eye again you can message and say that I've done my makeup yeah. completely wrong. This is just me. Plus for drinking, ago. so do you know what? So I'm going to start with this shade, and then I'll highlight with this one. So in terms of the blue grey colour, I actually don't feel like I'm getting that good a coverage on it. So I'm going well, to see. I like for a thicker brush because that was like a blending brush. Uh, see the brownie colour is going on very nicely and it's highlighting lovely um yeah i feel like the pigment isn't amazing but again what do we expect for see i like it because it's a uh, subtle every day which is what i tend to use my makeup unless going on a night out i generally don't use a foundation i use a bronzer um, I do my eyebrows, I do wear an eyeshadow, um, but just one colour. I do my eyelashes with mascara and I have some blusher on and I uh, have some lip gloss on. I don't have a big... So with me being in the office all day, I genuinely do wear a full face of makeup. Um, so we're very different in our makeup needs. So I am using the kind of brownie gold over that grey just to kind of blend it, I don't know if you can see. Which Whereas I've d um, doing the base colour that you used, I'm doing that as my top coat. Um, yeah, so I've just used that to blend over the top and then what I'm gonna do is use the highlighter shade in the corners of the eye. That's my done eye look. It's not huge, but I like the eyeshadow. I like it on. I don't feel like it's too much at overpowering. And that's my eye, which you can't really see the definition in, but this is more like a kind of a night look, I would say. Yeah. The blend is quite nice on it. That is quite nice on it, yeah. Um, again, it probably doesn't look that great on the camera, but... Yeah, I would probably use them again. Yeah. Uh, the highlighter one, I feel like has came out really, really well. So I actually would use that white eyeshadow. Um, you love a white eyeshadow. Oh, don't even get me going on white eyeshadows. <laughs> we'll post some pictures of it in our younger days. And every the white eyeshadow. White. Honestly, just thick lines of white eyeshadow all up to here. <laughs> no, I don't know. It was a thing back then. It was a thing people did. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the eyeshadow look. That's not bad. Uh, I actually got some glitter eyeliner I was going to give a go to put over the top just to see. Because, you know, we don't have enough unicorn come on our face after doing the um, face mask. We need more glitter. So we need more. If I can get it open. Because I'm going to start using the blusher. This is a Poundland one again. Just a pound. Funny that. Um, and again, yeah, um, coral rose number four. This colour is. Again, there's a lot of loose powder, but it's a nice colour on. I actually really like this glitter eyeliner. <laughs> um, so I got this in Pineland. So it's Makeup Gallery Chick Flick Eyeliner. 
um, and it's kind of like a dark kind of maybe a uh, charcoaly glitter um, and eyeliner and um, yeah I feel like it's just oh really that is lovely on it's that actually nice is feeling. really nice yeah but it's just given a nice wee glittery line. I actually quite like that. And they had it in quite a few different shades. Mm -hmm. So to be fair, they had it in the picture, they had a picture of it in gold, but they didn't have it in gold. So I actually would go back if I could and get the gold, um, purely because I wear a lot of goldy and brown color stories. Yeah. So a wee touch of that gold eyeliner for a night out yeah. wouldn't be. I'm loving this. It is a really nice, subtle, natural sort of rosy cheek. No, I really like that. I'm gonna give that a go. That's lovely on. Again, there's quite a lot of fallout from it, I would say. Um, that's the only thing. And then next, what we've got is the lip liners and lipstick. And that's all again Olivia Hale. Um, and that's from Poundland. This lipstick is Naked Mauve and then we have Velvet Berry which is a nice colour and the Naked Mauve lip liner. Now I've been using these and I like to do an ombre lip with these. So I know. Oh, that's the only thing probably fancy about my makeup is, is that. I, um, and I just go do the dark on the outside and then the light on the inside. Nice. So, yeah. So I'm really bad for not using lip liner. I just shove on a bit of lipstick when I remember. Lipstick, any lip colour is basically the only thing that I tend not to bother with. Um, I have quite rosy lips, so all I'll do is give my lips a bit of a wash and then I usually will just give them a bit of a bite, which is terrible, which is why my lips probably dry up so quick. Um, but I'll put on like a little bit of gloss. I don't put, pay a lot of attention to my lips. Karen has absolutely gorgeous lips, so I understand why she, that's the area that she puts a lot of effort into. So I just do the outline in the dark, and I, I do go outside my lip line with the dark one. Um, I do, um, normally what I would do is go over concealer with the lips to make them all a nude colour. Um, in the surrounding area and then I just go just just outside the lip line and it just gives me a slightly larger lip as well. In terms of the lipstick I actually quite like it, it's nice and creamy um, and the lip liner matches it well. Yeah I would probably buy the lipstick. How much was the lipstick? It was, they were each uh, £99. So that's the sort of all the day. No matter what I do, means I'll never look like that. So you have the darker with a touch of the light, and the colour that's in the middle here is the colour that Fiona's got on. So it's just literally doing that tiny bit to do it. And that is my finished lip look. Oh, see that, that's made your lips bigger. That yeah. has, that's brightened up your lip shape. Now, Dalai Hailey Jen, I told you you look like her before. Yeah, actually, I might need to get into some lip liner. Because it does bring your non existent lips out. It does, actually. I like that. So, the only thing that I couldn't get from Poundland and I didn't look in Home Bargains was a mascara. Yeah. Um, mascara. Did you get eyeliner? Yes. So, mascara is one thing that I find when I go cheaper, my eyes get irritated with. Yeah. I can go cheaper on eyeliner, but I can't go cheaper on mascara. I don't know about you, I don't know if you have. That's nice. Point on that. Love a good yeah. point. So, this is. Um, Outdoor Girl Eyeliner Duo Pack, which again I got in Poundland, and it so came. Two. It was two. It was a pack of two. Um, so for a pound, it seems pretty good. So let's see how it goes on. Mm -hmm. Both the same. Yes, yeah, so I believe so. Yeah. Both the same. So yeah, let's see how it goes on. So I'm not a big eyeliner fan. I just do a tiny bit on my top. Um, top of my eyes. It's not got great coverage, I would say. Uh, I don't know if I just need to dull the point down a wee bit. Oh, yeah. 
So I, Fiona is going to use false eyelashes. I am going to use a mascara. And this was from Kiko. If you can't remember the price of this, but this was Yes, yeah, so because we couldn't get a, a, a budget mascara, um, this is one that I had that I knew was quite cheap. I think it was like £4.20 or something like that. It really wasn't expensive from Kiko, whose makeup I actually really love because I think it's very decently priced and their eyeshadows have a really great pigment yeah. to them. Um, so this eyeliner's not too bad. It, uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't use it. It's not dark enough for me. I like an eyeliner dye. Um, so for me, that's a no. If you like just a little touch of eyeliner for a day look, then yeah, do maybe. Not, do not hold. <laughs> Why is it everybody I don't know where it is. Can't like, and you know the worst thing is, I always need a sneeze when I'm putting my mascara on. Why is that? Why do sneezes always oh, come God, in? Oh God, blinked as well. So <laughs> I'm doing. So I am okay. doing the head to toe one pair of volume eyelashes, and these are from Home Bargains. And how much did you pay for these? I think they were two forty. They were either one forty nine or two forty nine. They weren't mm -hmm. expensive as eyelashes go. So you guys all probably know I am an Eyler fan through and through. That is what I tend to wear. Um, I think I'm a 107 uh, is my go-to. But if I've got like something that I don't really need a pair of eyelashes for, um, I sometimes will actually jump into Primark the pair of eyelashes for. Um, Sometimes we'll actually jump into Primark, they do a really good pair in there that's a couple of pounds um, that I would rate. So these ones, I like that. straight off the bat for pulling them out, not fantastic. So I've just pulled one off and there's a part of the eyelash still left on there, so they've torn a little bit. See, which wouldn't be a problem for me. I have small eyes and I have to trim all my eyelashes anyway. So they are actually adhesive already, I think, look. Ah, oh yeah, and they're quite sticky. And it came with a glue. So it says I did adhesive included, but right, so I've took it out and that's that on my hand. Um, so yeah, that isn't coming off it all that easy. But I probably won't stick that great. Yeah, I'm just a bit concerned about pulling all my eyelashes out. Yeah. Um, but we can give it a go. Can I get that mirror over and yeah. I'll give these a go to see how they look. Maybe only put one on just because I am concerned yeah. about losing my eyelashes. I lure them pretty good at getting them. I actually set them just a little bit above the eye so that I don't lose all my eyelashes because yeah. fake eyelashes are very bad for that. Um, for pulling it if you don't take them off properly. Um, so I don't feel like they've got a great shape to them either. They don't curve. See where with most pairs that you get, they curve to the contour of your eye. Yeah. These are quite straight and they're actually quite flimsy. So we'll see how they do. They might look amazing on you, don't know. Yeah. So just let them get me a bit tacky for a wee second. Yeah, see they're quite big eyelashes. I think I would look like a drag queen with them on. But they're very thin. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm not a massive fan of these. Um, I mean, they've went on nice. They're very light. If you can see them, they're very yeah. light on. Um, so in terms of the difference, it's a nice lash. They are quite light. I like a bit of a fuller you lash. You could wear that as a day lash though, couldn't you? Yeah, so you could probably get away with wearing them uh, as a day lash. I just wonder how reusable they would be. I can get like three to four goes out of an yeah. hour. See lash. that 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 would be that would suit me as a lash. I don't particularly like. It's very long, so we'd have never had to. Like a scratch, are you used to be able to scratch like, your eyebrows? No, I mean lengthwise. Yeah. It's very long. I've never had to snip one, but the eyelash is actually like way, 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 way down here. Yeah. So I probably could do with a wee bit of a snip on it. Um, I just think looking in the mirror, I feel like you can. So the the I don't know what part of that lash it's called. So the base of the lash, the part that's the curve that has all the lashes attached to it, is white. So I feel ah, like I yeah. can see that from quite far away. Uh -huh, yeah. So from so sitting here looking in the mirror, I can cotton onto that straight away. Uh -huh, yeah. So you can you see. Want that. I don't know if you can, you can see, see. this. Hand. So it's the actual base where the eyelashes come out is white. That's I mean there's no glue on that. That's that is. I don't. I, so I don't hate how I look. Um, 
for me it's just not the quality of the makeup that I usually use. Yeah, I would probably, in a pinch, most of it, yeah, I would probably use do 90%. Nine, for me are the eyebrows, I'm sorry, are the eyelashes and the eyeliner. No goes, I would not mm. use those products, don't use them, don't buy them. The things my favourite is definitely this. I love this. I'm getting this on every colour that they do it in. Mm. This is insane. My favourite has to be the lip liners and the lipstick yeah. and the eyeshadow at the um, eyebrow palette. Mm. Well, thanks guys. That's our our review of our budget makeup buys that we got. Mm. Um, we hope that uh, you find this interesting or at least a little bit fun to watch. Um, mm. and Let us know what else you want us to review because yeah. we feel like see drinking alcohol and reviewing something, we're going to tell you the truth a lot more than we bullshit you. I know it's been a slow time coming but there's lots of new fun stuff yes. coming so thanks everybody for watching. Um, we are Sisters Take On Life and thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.